What's up, YouTube? This is World NASCAR Champions here, and uh, lately I've been busy with uh, with my college work, and you know, it's been like I think over a month since I last posted. I posted race nine. You know, I personally thought it was a good race, but um, uh, unfortunately, I did make some mistakes on it. But it's just part of it, you know. And I admit, I do miss it. I do miss. Like, having fun, doing animation, just, like, having fun, you know, you know, I kind of miss it. But nowadays, like, I don't have the time to do that anymore. Like, I already made race 10. Like, I already made the, um, tickers, video clips. Like, everything is done. All I just need to do is commentate. But then, since, um, school started, I, I didn't have, like, enough time to commentate that yet. But... The reason why I'm making this video is like I want to stay in touch with you guys and I want to show you some new diecasts that I got. I got like a ton of new diecasts. I almost got the whole set of Way 6 except for the Kevin Harvick car. I only found like one Way 7 car and then I only have like um, four Way 8 cars. And I got some of these cars off of Plan B Sales slash Lionel Racing. So yeah, let's go. Let's start with the Gold Series first. This is one of my favorite cars. Kyle Busch's Eminem's Vote car. Uh, yeah, this is my favorite part, the green, the mint green. I am definitely going to get the mint green car because it is a really nice car. That's like one of my favorite paint schemes from Kyle Busch. Uh, my favorite color is green, and thankfully, uh, mint green won the vote. So that's one of the new cars that I got. Uh, another new car that I got is uh, Kyle Larson's DC Solar Car. Um, this one's also uh, one of my favorites. The most, most of the Gold Series, well, I shouldn't be saying Gold Series because it's ARCA now. Um, I don't see the Gold Series like before. So most of these um, ARC cars are going to be Kyle Busch slash Kyle Larson. Um, I just had some of these today. I had McDonald's today. I had the 20 piece chicken nuggets. This is a really nice car from Kyle Larson. I heard that Jane McMurray is... Uh, doesn't have a ride for next year in that one car so might as well get the kyle larson car because i might use the mcdonald's car and i really love mcdonald's oh man i, I sound like uh that's like not good for my diet you know what i'm saying all right this one kyle bush eminem's caramel car um i did not pack the t 2017 car when i was back home i was like you know what i'm gonna get this for uh, my desk um so, what the heck? It's still the same. It's still a, a very nice car. Um, there, there's only like two mistakes when I open this car. Like, there's a little chip, but that's all right. It'd be like that sometimes. And finally, in one of my favorite throwbacks is uh, Kurt Busch, Haas Animation Darlington 2003 throwback. A uh, really nice car. Oh, I wish Sharpie was a sponsor on this one because um, it doesn't seem like normal to me seeing like a Haas pen but yeah it'd be like that sometimes so th those are the new uh, action racing collectible cars that I got now let's see um, all the wave six cars that I got first car uh, another Kurt Busch Haas animation car the reason why I uh, got this again is because one the spoiler is smaller compared to the other Haas animation cars and then there is a little glare right there but yeah um, so decent car Hopefully I can find uh, another one like this so I can make a Haas Animation slash Monster Energy custom. So that's one of the new cars that I got. Another one is, oh, I already have this car in Action Racing Cluck, um, ARC. Kyle Larson's Credit One Bank. I'm not going to be opening this car since um, I'm also a Kyle Larson fan. Um, so this is a very, very well done car. Um... Wave 6 was a pretty good wave, I, I admit. It's a very nice wave. Uh, Daniel Suarez, um, peak car. I really love the the finish on this car. It's like, uh, it's sparkly like when you see it in person. I don't know if that's a word, but uh, it's still a really nice car to pick up. I recommend getting this car. But yeah, um, so those, those are the three cars so far from wave 6. Another one. Casey Kane slash Regan Smith Pro Care Core Car. Um, too bad Casey Kane has um, 
he can't race. Well, I, I don't want to say he can't race anymore, but with his health issues, get well soon, Casey. Hopefully, we can see you on the track again. And, you know, this is a really, really nice car. Hopefully, I could pick up his um, All-Star throwback. I... I don't know. I don't know if it's a Darlington throwback or all-star throwback because I haven't been watching a lot of NASCAR races a lot lately because um, I'm just like all busy with um, schoolwork and stuff. Uh, another car that I pick up that I don't think this car is going to be run anymore since he got this one got a new paint scheme is Chase Elliott's uh, Sun Energy 1. Uh, it's a really nice car. Um, I'm a bit biased with this well, here's my little problem with Chase Elliott cars. Like, every time Chase Elliott wins, we have to make that in 164 diecast. How come you can't make any other drivers in 164 diecast besides Chase Elliott or some other popular driver? But, yeah, um, that's, like, my little problem with the Chase Elliott cars. Like, he won three races already. Might as well make one with 164. Of how come you can't make that with any other drivers? For example, like, um... When Kyle Busch won his 50th NASCAR career race in this uh, Monster Energy Cup Series, how come you can't make that in 164? That's like a historic moment for NASCAR right there. But I'm not, I'm saying that since I'm a Kyle Busch fan, but you know, like you have your own drivers and I get it. Um, and you wish that Lionel made that car in 164. Hopefully you, like, you see what I'm trying to say. Um, his final farewell nascar tour elliot sadler's um one main financial car um it's a really cool car this is like one of the first drivers like i've known in nascar like when i started playing nascar 2005 chase for the cup i was always elliot sadler because uh, i really loved m ms but yeah like um uh, hopefully he can win the expanded cup series championship and retire that's like a good way to walk out um this this guy had like his highs and lows, but um, um, he did something impactful for the NASCAR industry. So really, I recommend picking up uh, this car, uh, Elliot Sellers, uh, one main financial car. Uh, I already opened this car. M many of you don't like this car, but it kind of grew on me a little bit. Kyle Busch's Interstate Batteries car. Um, I did open it. Uh, I didn't open the rest because I didn't have time to open it. But this car is just like, for some reason, it started to hit me. And I kind of like this paint scheme now. Even though it's like four or five years old now. Who knows? Um, yeah, it's, it's um, you know, it's pretty decent since I like green a little bit. Um, still one of the cool cars to pick up. If you already have that car, so it's your opinion why you like that car. Um, if you like it, you like it. If you don't like it, you don't like it. All right, the only Wave Seven car that I got, uh, Ty Dillon's uh, Geico car, and then I never had a Ty Dillon car before, so I just picked this one up because one, it looks really nice, and um, we'll see Ty Dillon in Race Eleven in um, Phase Three, and he'll make his Cup debut. Some of these drivers will make their Cup debut, like Casey Kane or um, Regan Smith. Uh, I don't know what Race Eleven will be like. But, um, yeah, this is a really nice car. I did not pick up, uh, the rest of the wave right here. Um, because I, I live, like, 30 minutes away from Walmart now. And I live, like, five minutes away from Target. So that's, like, a huge difference because Target doesn't know how to restock. Um, so the next four cars I did pick up at Walmart. Uh, the first car, you already saw it. Another Kyle Larson's DC Solar Car. Uh, just wanted to pick this up. Like I said in the earlier in the video, I'm a Kyle Larson fan. I will not be opening this car because I want to keep it in this package. So that's one of the new cars that I got. Uh, the next three cars are like my favorite because Wave Eight was a one of my favorite waves. Next car is ryan blaney's uh darlington throwback this is a really neat throwback um it's just like clean it's like dave blaney's 2003 or something like that gosh i don't i need to work on my um nascar throwbacks a little bit but this is a i recommend picking up this car it's just like it's clean i, I really like the yellow and blue just kind of kind of remind me of the san diego chargers a little bit 
I know they moved to LA, but just like yellow and blue and white, just kind of reminds me of the San Diego Chargers a little bit since I'm from there. Uh, this car gets sold out from Action Racing Collectibles, but this one is like a really nice car, and I'm finally glad I picked this up. Chase Elliott's uh, Baja Blast. Uh, it's the same thing as Mountain Dew, but it's in teal, light blue. I really like this car. I like the finish on this car, and I'm finally glad I was able to pick up this car. And last but not least, uh, my favorite driver, Kyle Busch's um, Darlington Throwback. Um, I highly recommend picking this car up. This car is going to be rare in the near future, like five to six years. You know how Kyle Busch's cars. Even though he's like the most hated drivers, his car, I recommend still picking up his cars because they're it's a really nice finish, and they get like rare like four to five years. Like I can't find any 2013 Kyle Busch cars because they're pricey now. They're like twenty dollars for like a 2013 Eminem's car. So yeah, um, so that concludes the video. Um, stay in touch with me on my social media at World NASCAR Champions on Instagram or maybe like. Send me an email at worldnascarchampions at gmail.com. Um, just like, you know, it feels so good to just like finally have a little break from college and just talk about like what's been going on and all the new cars that I got. So thank you guys for watching. This is World NASCAR Champions. See you next time.